So today we're going to be taking a look at the Panasonic GH5 Mark II. And an interesting thing with this camera is that it comes with a very cool feature. And that is these little dials at the top. Or I should say this dial at the top, this one right here. Because what this one has on it is these custom options, C1, C2, C3, and C4. And what you can do is program those to be whatever you want it to be. So you can save your white balance settings, you can save your ISO, you can save your aperture settings, your shutter speed, uh, picture profiles, autofocus settings, um, just a variety of different things. So where we're gonna start though to program this is, we're gonna go to the movie icon. And one thing to mention, uh, if you're trying to set this and it's not working for you and you're like, why is this not saving my settings? When you're saving the settings, you have to always do it through the menu, which I'm going to show you in a minute. You don't, you don't like save your custom options in, in the movie mode and then switch over to C1 to then save it. This is just for recalling your settings. It's not for saving it. You have to save it in the menu. Um, and if you need to change something, you got to change it in the menu. You don't do it from here. This is just to recall. Got that? I hope so. So let's go back to the movie mode and I'll show you what's going on. Now, before we get started, just keep in mind that I'm going to be doing a whole series of videos. So make sure you subscribe. They're going to be all about the GH5 Mark II and other features and settings and menu options, just like this video. Matter of fact, the next video is going to be about saving function buttons. So go ahead and subscribe for that. Let's say you wanted to save some of those custom settings and you want to save it to C4. The way you do that is you would come in here. You set it the way you want to set it. So let's say I want to have the record quality be... Uh, Let's say, say I want to do 4K um, 30 at 422 10 bit. So let's set that. And I want to use the, the MOV container. So let's go ahead and set that. And then I want the photo style set of like 709. I want to do vlog. So we set that. So now we have it set the way we want to set it. And let's say. I also want to make some other changes. Let's say I wanted to do, because I think I could probably even ch change the focusing mode. Let's say I want the focusing mode. See right here, we were on um, tracking. Let's go from tracking to oval. Uh, let's see if it holds that too. I think it will. And the white balance right now is auto. Let's change it from auto to, you know, let's just do a cloudy sky, you know. So it's like 6600 Kelvin or something like that. And then let's go a step further. Right now, the ISO is set to auto 6400. Instead of doing that, let's do, um, you know, let's set the ISO to 640. So now this is what this is what I want to save because I know this is what I'm going to use in whatever situation. In order to save it, you go back out to the menu and get out of here. And I believe it's in the I believe it's in the gear. Yeah. So you save to custom mode. So you go in here. And now I want to do C4, 1. Overwrite current camera settings, yes. And now it's saved. So let's, let's, let's take this stuff out. Let's go back to, um, I think I had something saved in C3 already. So let's go to C3. So C3 is just a regular MOV. It's the 420 codec, 420, 8-bit. It's my 120 frame on a 30p timeline with manual focus set. <clears throat> so now if we go into 4, I change my dial over to 4. It keeps all of that stuff. So now we have the white balance was set to the clouds. We have V-Log. We have the 4K all all intra at 422, 10 bit, uh, 29.9 uh, 
frames per second. We have it from manual focus into autofocus. And you can see right there the little oval. The autofocus is actually set to oval. So this is a quick way to go ahead and, and set custom settings for yourself. And you have C1, 2, 3, and then in 4. In 4, you actually have more than this. I don't know how you... Because a lot of times I see people bring this up and they have they have C4, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, so there's a way to have even more. I'm not even sure how you do that. If I'm being honest. But there's... There's definitely a way to do more. What did I say? That was the gear. Was that the gear? Oh no, it was, it was in here. Let's go to custom mode settings because it's probably in there. Okay, limit number of custom mode is set to three. So you can get it all the way up to 10. So now we have 10 of those in there. And if you go to custom modes, you can see here now we have 10 C4s. That's crazy. And I think, let me go back in. I wanna, I wanna do one other thing. Cause I think you can go in a step further. So we go back to the wrench, we go back to the gear custom mode settings, you can edit the title. So I'm not sure if you can edit each. Yeah, looks like you can. So this C1, I can call it, you know, I can erase this and it's gonna take me a long time to do it, but you get the point. I can come in here, I can change the numbers. I can, I can call it, um, how do I get to numbers? Oh, there you go. All right, so I could I could erase this. And you know, I could call it four. Four K. There we go. So now I can name it what I want. That way I can quickly look at it and change it to whatever I want. All right, and the last and final thing that I wanna show you as far as the custom modes go, let's go right back into the menu here, into the, into the settings. I just wanna show you what all these do. So we already know what the save custom mode does. We already know what custom mode settings do. Okay, now check this out. Currently I am set to the, just to the plain movie icon on the dial. And I configured it to be this way. So I'm at 120 frames per second on a 60p timeline. I'm recording in full HD with a eight, eight bit codec and long op, blah, blah, blah. My focus is set to manual. Okay. Now C1 is currently set to nothing, right? I don't have anything saved to C1. But let's say I want to save what I have in C4 to one very quickly. Because basically I just wanna move around my custom profiles. This is where you will go to load custom mode. So I'm gonna change my dial to C1. Okay, so I'm currently in C1. I'm gonna go into load custom mode. I'm gonna switch to the one that's in C4. Then I'm gonna say, okay, now that I have the C4 one loaded, I'm gonna go into save to custom mode and now I'm gonna save that to one. I'm gonna overwrite what's in one with the new what's in C4. And it should, in theory, if I come out, now C1 is set to what C4 was. And of course, if you found that helpful, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to more videos just like this. Like I mentioned earlier, in the next one, we'll be talking about the function buttons and how to program those on the GH5 Mark II. 
Um, and in future videos, we'll be talking about the video formats, how to quickly filter through them and create your own custom lists and also how to create your own favorites menu in this camera. There's going to be a variety of material. And down below in the comments, let me know if you have this camera and what are your favorite features. And as always, I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you soon.